marriage is an institution. It is an admirable status which has its origins in the solemn contract celebrated between one man and one woman, who of their own free will wish to marry with the object to love, honor, and care for each other mutually. If you guys look around the room right now, just take a moment and take in that you have a room full of your favorite people. So all these people traveled to another country just to celebrate you. A room full of people that love you, and yet you chose me to stand by your side. I'm shaking. <laughs> I know there's plenty of people here that have known Sydney way longer than I have, and that just means so much to me because I think it speaks volumes to the quality of our friendship. I vow to attempt to be as great a father as you are a mother, and I cannot wait to pregame our kids' sports games. I promise I will always rub your feet, even when I'm old and forget my own name, and I vow to be the gym to your Pam. So this is it. This is our love story. This salty pirate found his beautiful mermaid and set a new course to love each other to a point that is incomprehensible. Sydney, thank you for choosing me. I love you always, always. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does no envy. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is no self-seeking. It is not easily angered and it keeps no record of promise. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. I promise to always fight beside you and for you, but never against you. I vow to always be faithful to you and honor our love for the rest of my life. Life is full of uncertainties, but I'm certain about you and us. I, I know that when I have you by my side, I can face anything thrown my way. I love you most. <laughs> Today, August 20 of 2022, in front of your friends and family, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss this beautiful bride. <laughs> Thank you.